Okay, so first of all, this method won't work unless you have the newest version of Microsoft Excel and you have the Lambda formula. I'm going to start off by using the sequence formula and I'll have 15 rows and one column, a start of zero and a step of one. And this gets you a sequence of numbers between zero and 14. And this is 15 rows and one column, a start of zero and then a step of one. So it increases by one each time. Then I am going to put the quotient formula around this. And this returns the integer portion of a division. This part here is the numerator and the denominator is three. And this gets us repeating numbers. Now at the moment, this has a step of one, so it increases by one each time. However, I want it to have a step of two, so I'm going to times all of this by two. And now the numbers are increasing by two, so it goes zero, two, four, six, eight. But then I also don't want it to start at zero, I want it to start at 10, so I'm going to add 10 onto the end of this. Now in this formula, I have four different parameters and they are how many times each number is being repeated, the number that we are starting at, the step and the stop. So here we're repeating each number three times. We're starting at 10, the step is two and then the stop is five because we have five numbers here. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to take this formula and link it to these cells. So in the sequence formula, we have 15 rows, which is the number of times we are repeating each number times by how many numbers we have. So three times by five makes 15. Then the three here is the number of repeats again. The two is the step and then the 10 is the start. And this doesn't actually change anything because I'm still using the same numbers. But if we vary these numbers now, we can check that this is all working correctly. So if I put two in here, then each number gets repeated twice and three will make each number repeat three times. Then changing the start to two will get the numbers to start at two and changing it to three will get me a start of three. Then changing the step to two will make it so the numbers increase by two each time. So three, five, seven. Changing it to three will make it so the numbers increase by three each time. Then if I change the stop to two, then I have just two numbers being repeated and then it stops. And if I change this to three, then it's three numbers. Now I'm going to change this back to five and this back to 10 and this to two. And then I'll add in some more space here and create the other version of repeating numbers. So this will begin with the sequence formula again and we'll have 15 rows and one column, a start of zero and a step of one. And then this time we'll wrap the mod formula around this. And the mod formula returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So this part here is the number and then the divisor is three. And this gets me the numbers zero, one, two, repeating over and over again. Now at the moment I have a step of one, so it's increasing by one each time, but I will times this by two in order to get a step of two. And now the numbers go zero, two, four. And I also don't want to start at zero, so I will add 10 onto here in order to get the numbers to start at 10. Now I'll link this formula to these numbers over here. So I again have 15 rows in the sequence formula. So this is how many numbers I am repeating times by how many times I am repeating them before I stop. 
So that is 3 times by 5, which gets me 15. Then the divisor is, again, the number of repeats. And then the 2 is the step and 10 is the start number. And that gets me the same results. Now we'll vary these numbers in order to make sure everything is working properly. So changing this to 2 will get me the numbers 1, 2 being repeated over and over again. And changing it to 3 will get me 3 numbers being repeated. Then we can change this to 2 to get it to start at 2 and 3 to get it to start at 3. Then we can have a step of 2 and it will increase by 2 each time or a step of 3 and that increases it by 3 each time. Then if I have a stop of 2, then these three numbers here, 3, 6, 9, are repeated two times before it stops. And if I change it to 3, then it repeats three times. Now I'm going to change this here to 1 and this here to 1. And the next step is to combine these two formulas together. So I'll create a fifth parameter, which will be the type. And if the type is 0, then I want it to give me numbers repeating in the 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 pattern. But if the type is 1, then I want it to give me the 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2 pattern of repeating numbers. And I will do this using an if formula. So if the type is equal to 0, then I want it to give me this version of repeating numbers here. I'm going to add in a space in front of the equals sign so I can get out of this cell and then copy all of this here. So I will select everything apart from the equals sign, then control C to copy and then escape to get out of that cell. Then paste all of this in here and add a comma after it. Then copy all of this formula as well and paste it and then close brackets at the end. I'll then delete the space at the beginning and now I have an if formula where the logical test is, is the type equal to zero? And if that is true, then it gives me this version of repeating numbers. And if that is false, it gives me this version of repeating numbers. So at the moment, the type is zero, so I get the one, two, three version of repeating numbers. But if I change this to one, I get the one, one, one version. Because of the way I set up the if formula, I can put any number in here so long as it isn't zero, and I will still get the one, one, one version of repeating numbers. It's only zero that will get me the one, two, three version. However, if I delete this cell, then the formula will interpret the blank cell as being a zero, and so that will also get me the one, two, three version. Now that I have created this formula, the next step is to put it into the lambda formula. So I am going to copy all of this apart from the equals sign and do equals lambda. First of all, I need to put in all of my parameters. So this is repeat, start, step, stop, and type. Then I'll use control V to paste in the formula that I just created for the calculation. Then close brackets at the end. Then I need to change all of the cell references to the parameters that I just made. So B10 is the type, so I'll change this to type. Then B4 is the repeat. So I'll change this to repeat. And this needs to be changed everywhere else. There is a B4 as well. Then C7 is the stop. So I'll change this to stop and change that here as well. Then B7 is the step, so we'll 
change this to step and change it here as well. And then finally, C4 is the start. So we'll change this to the start here and then here. Now I've gotten rid of all of the numbers, I need to add them back in in a set of brackets at the end. So we'll have a repeat of three, a start of one, step of one, a stop of three, and then we'll make the type zero and enter. And now I get my pattern of repeating numbers. If I change the zero here to one, I get the other type of repeating numbers. And then I will also change this here to five. And you'll see I get one, two, three, four, five repeating. And then let's also check to make sure I can link this to a cell and it still works. Now I've created this formula. I need to turn it into a named range. So I'll select all of this, including the equals sign at the beginning, but not including the last set of brackets. Then control C to copy and escape to get out of that cell. Then go to formulas and define name. And the name will be repeat. Then in the refers to box, I will paste in the formula that I just made. I also want to make a comment for this, which will be the repeat formula, and then all of the parameters that need to be put in. Then I'll also put in the two different types, and OK. Now I can use the named range as if it were a formula. So we have the repeat formula here with the comment that I just typed in, just in case I forget the order that the parameters need to be put in. Now we'll have a repeat of three, a start of one, a step of one, a stop of three, and we'll use type zero and close brackets and enter. And that gets me this pattern of repeating numbers. Now let's try a different version of this. So we'll make it repeat four times, have a start of two, a step of two, we'll have it stop after four, and then we'll change the type to one. Okay, so that is basically it. There's just one more thing I wanted to point out which is that if you use the repeat formula inside the index formula, so I'll select all of this here and then do repeat and open brackets and we'll have a repeat of three, a start of one, a step of one, a stop of three, and then we'll use type zero and close brackets and then close brackets again and enter. This doesn't work properly as it only gets you the first result. However, if you add a comma in here for the column number, then this does work. So it's taking this range here and repeating the first three values three times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a repeat formula in Excel, and that is everything.